even looking at the, the soundtracks that you've made for me, you know, Drug of Choice is still my favorite one. Oh, look, I, see, that's it. I completely forgot. I'm, I'm talking to the man who directed that, and I didn't even give that a thought. That, <laughs> to me, that soundtrack, I really enjoy, especially with the opening sequence where you had all that. Yes. Um, the, uh, and I just sort of wanted something that went with it powerful, but not too abstract. And that turned out great. And the rest of the, the soundtrack uh, actually uh, went along the same lines. I mean, I've even got a link on my website to that soundtrack through, and that's uh, it's up there on, um, uh, oh, I can't remember what it says. Is it yeah. SoundCloud? The SoundCloud, that's it, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I've got a link on, you've got a website, uh, you've got the link on the, uh, to that, and it goes through and it'll, it'll play that soundtrack. And I still go to that now and listen to it because it was just a good, a good, honest soundtrack that suited the, the music exceptionally well. The only thing I find, though, is that when you go back and listen to your own work, you'll mm -hmm. hear something that, which no one else does, but being the composer with the ears that I've got, I go, oh, no, I made a mistake. <laughs> I could have done this a little bit better or or something. So there's uh, there's always that that risk. But um, no, you're right. Sure. I mean, yeah, that was that was a that was a good a good film uh, with a good message, and it was actually a lot of fun to work on. I like doing that one.